pretty much what I was about to show. This right here is my bug out bag. I keep this in my car at all times. You know what I mean? So pretty much this allows me, if I'm out and if I'm out about and a situation happened like we had a blizzard uh, a couple of years back and people were getting stuck on the actual highway, couldn't get back in time to their families and so forth, had to stay out there. If that happened, everything in this bag that's in here would allow me to survive for three days without having any type of uh, access to my normal resources like my home, my shelter, and so forth. So, mm. the first thing I'll show y'all real quickly is... Now, some of my car was broken into not too long ago. And um, some, it must have been young kids because they took some of my stuff out of here, like my machete and others. So, real quickly, you know, you got your clothing. This is just if you're out in the cold, extra socks you can use. Also got my blanket. This right here is an emergency blanket. Uh, it's basically can uh, trap heat, trap, you know, trap your warmth so that if you're out in the cold, it looks thin, but when you put it on you, you're actually able to keep yourself warm. This is a bivy. This is pretty much, it's a, it's, it looks like a sleeping bag. I call it shelter because you can actually put your full body into it. You can pull it out. Looks like an oversized sleeping bag that you can actually sleep on. So if I got caught out in the woods or if I'm out somewhere where I can't get back home for a long time, I could just pop this out and I have my shelter. So this is my shelter right here. Always keep this on you. Uh, especially unless you're just adept at knowing all the edible plants But if I'm ever in a situation where I have to, you know, find food and so forth Do you remember the rules? The three rules? You taste it, you wait a little bit, see if anything happens Alright, so tell, tell me, do you remember? And I, don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot yeah. But when you, for the first three hours, what do you have to secure right away? Shelter Within three days, what do you have to secure? Water Alright so you have three days to secure your shelter. The reason why is because you never know if the, I mean, pardon me, three hours to secure shelter. Three hours. Three hours. So you never know if the terrain, you know, the weather's going to change, climate's going to change. You have three days that the body can go without food, without, I mean, pardon me, without water before you actually start being able to uh, underperform as far as working, having to three get yourself. Three days. Three days. Yep, you mm -hmm. have three days. So right here, uh, you, we have, you have to look for food if you're out in the public, right? Sorry, somebody let it. And if you hear that sound, you're not supposed to be doing that. You keep, you're supposed to actually let off one at a time. If you let off like that, somebody's going to say something to them. So the reason why we have edible plants is to be able to know what we can eat, what we can't eat, right? But in a case that we don't know, and let's say if we out here in the public and, I mean, out here in the, um, the wilderness, and we're not sure what it is, there's different tests you can actually go through to be able to see what is edible and what's not. So one of the things is you take a, if it's a plant like this, you pull it out the ground, and there's a lot of onions around here, you can see. Um, you pull it out the ground and you put it right here in your forearm, on your skin. So you put it right here on your skin and you rub it. You wait about 15 minutes, see if you have any reaction. If you don't have any reaction, the next thing you do is you put it to your mouth, your, your lips. Put it on your lips, wait for about three minutes or so. See if you have any burning sensation, any stinging sensation. If none, the next thing you do is you put it on your tongue. You wait about 15 minutes, see if the same thing, any burning sensation, any blistering, anything. If not, then you chew a small amount of it. When you chew a small amount of it, you do not eat anything at all. You let it go through your body for eight hours. After eight hours, now mind you, this is in a situation where there's no food at all, so you have to be patient. After eight hours, if it doesn't affect you in a negative way, then you know that I can take this plant and actually go ahead and start chefing it up and eating it. Right. It's good for me to eat, but this is a test you have to go through. Because if not, you eat the wrong thing, you put yourself in the worst predicament. Mm -hmm. So, I got playing cards just because if I'm out there, I got to be bored. <laughs> I have my poncho. This is just basic stuff right here. Poncho is a... So if it rains, I can cover up in the rain, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is real fast. So here, if we out, we gotta eat. So if I'm looking for, until I find, I mean, if I don't find food right away, I also have this. This is uh, basically an MRE, meals ready to eat. Uh, it's emergency food rations. This is enough for, if I had right now by myself, it would last me uh, roughly about three days. Uh, if I have two or three of my children with me, it'll just last us for a day. But it's basically hard. It lasts up to five years. You got to change it out every so often. After five years, if nothing happened, I throw this shit away, cop a new one, and put it in here. This is just to last me for three days. This right here is in case I need to set a fire. Now, there's different ways you could do fires. I ain't got time to go through all that, like using a cell phone battery if you have your cell phone. But this you actually use to catch the light of the sun. 
magnify the light of the sun to start a fire. Mm -hmm. So I keep this on at all times. Then I have this piece, which is a little more advanced. Uh, basically, it has a little bit of lighter fluid in here, and I could just take this out. You can work it in conjunction with that. Yep, I can work it in conjunction. Now, well, obviously, if I have this, I'm good to go. But if I don't have this, I got to turn to this. I got to make my fire. So I pull this out and strike it, and it, and it causes like a little match. Right now, this is, ha actually has lighter fluid, so you can go out, use this, and won't have be able to use it again for an extensive period of time. This has my compass. It also has paracord. This right here can be used for several different things. Anything from, you know, tying something up to, you know, carry or tying something up in order to apply some type of uh, bandage to a wound and so forth. Or, you know, it could be used, if you're a martial artist, it could be used to, you know, as self-defense too. So, my other ways of capturing light or capturing fire if I need to, obviously I got my flashlight got my head flashlight so if I have to have my hands free my compass and looks like my flint is going they got my flint too and these are the last pieces right here so this right here is first aid just a, just a basic first aid kit that's it in case I'm injured I'm gonna express why all this is important in a second and then this is my food preparation So there's a sister, Earth, actually, who put together, put this together, um, and she did a wonderful job. So I really didn't have to add too much to it. So she even added seasoning, mm. you know, a special type of seasoning. But here you have your water purified tablets. So you can put these in your water, and it'll actually purify certain viruses, certain parasites, and bacteria. It's good for like if you're out in the woods, you get stranded, you find a source of water, but it's a dingy, dirty source of water. You can put this in. Mm. Also. If you don't have this, you can use this. It's a, it's a, uh, it's called the Frontier Straw, but it's pretty much a water filter. You can bring the water up through here, and it'll filter out all the parasites and bacteria as well. And of mm. course, I have to have my own personal utensils just in case. Mm -hmm. I have my canteen. This right here is a package of water, just in case I'm out. I can just take little drops to keep myself, uh, you know, fresh until I find my own source of water. And these, I'm not going to show you these now, but I'll crack them open. This is actually a really neat thing to have. If I, I can light this, break off a chunk, and it will just stay lit the entire, like I think maybe up to five hours it stays lit. And it looks like you've put it in the palm of your hand, it won't even burn you. But it's a fire, and you'll have your own little fire that just stays lit, so you can, you know, basically have access to fire whenever you need. I have a bunch of these. So, That's the gist of it. Mm. You know, that's most of it. I had some other things in here. I had Survival a Survival kit. Yep. And, it's, and I call it, it's called the bug out bag, um, basically because in a situation where you might be out in the public, like I said, you don't know. You might have to, you know, you may need first aid kit. What if one of your children get injured? We've had it, so I at least have a first aid kit. Uh, what if we're just out and whatever the circumstances may be may cause us to be stranded and we have no access to a vehicle? This right here is going to ensure that I get home. This right here is going to ensure that I at least put more time on my survival, at least three days, where I can be out there and be comfortable. It may not be as comfortable as being at a house, but it's comfortable enough to know that I don't have to worry about much. So real quickly, I'll show you this before we go in there. What usually stays, well, I'll show it to you actually when we get in there because it's in this bag. In this bug out bag, I usually keep a Keltec which is a carbine, it's a, not a carbine that shoots nine millimeters, but it can fold up and it's easy to run with and go. If I had to run with and go with something that I needed more firepower than what I keep on my gun. And with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get up in here. If Mega did this. Peace and celebration of each other. We support each other's hustle. Weight Life has sponsored this content. You can get a sweatshirt, t-shirt, or a hoodie at the Common Unity Store of a law school in Mecca. Or just simply hit me up. I got the hookup. Peace.